Welcome everybody to Nighttime Brisbane. I had some KFC and some orange juice and I'm good to go. I'm on Victoria Bridge right now. I'm right in the center and I feel this is a good spot to show you what Brisbane is like both the sides. Okay, so behind me we have the north side. The north side's got lovely skyline which we all know about the Brisbane skyline and that's the treasury building which is actually being used as a casino we got some construction with the cranes in white did you notice that most of the buildings on this side on the north side have white light why is that because i think they all are office uh, buildings and look at this side this is the south side we've got the beautiful wheel of brisbane we got the brisbane sign over there and that's the art center they've got uh, some shows going on we'll go closer to check it out and we have the lovely London Bridge abutment which was uh, a remnant of the uh, I think I got a spider on me which was it is a remnant of the old London Bridge Victoria Bridge and uh, it fell due to worm infestation so there used to be a bridge over there like that in the 1800s and it was made of wood and that came down because of worms Ugh. but this bridge is a new steel bridge and he got one two three four five six seven eight nine ten bosses on it and still standing strong thank god for that but you can feel the vibrations you know of the different uh, i can actually people feel the vibration of people running or walking on the bridge you know that reminds me uh, that the soldiers back in the day when they used to cross the bridge they used to tell them not to walk in sync because that would bring down the bridge apparently who knew that okay so let's go to the south side look at all the residential buildings over there with their orange lights nice mood lighting i think they work hard behind me and then they cross the bridge over to their lovely houses on the south side nice brisbane is very well lit actually very well lit I like walking here in the night especially I like to see the purple that they have in the night time you know like you can see the purple behind me I can see it in the display and look at the good use of lights they've got like green lights on the cranes I think it's for the birds and we got white lights over there on the cranes there's a lot of construction going on here and we have of course a Brisbane River running here and I think that's the wharf in that direction I can see the ships going uh, sorry ferries going slowly towards the wharf some purple lighting there I think that's the Goodwill Bridge they've got like three or four bridges connecting the south side to the north side or vice versa so lovely especially the Story Bridge I made a video of that do check it out Story Bridge is lovely it's a cantilever bridge uh, the largest in Australia that's a big deal and it also has a twin bridge in Canada okay so let's walk down the bridge oh yeah let's check out the abutment this is the old abutment guys look at the wheel of Brisbane in the background that's so cool people chilling out nice lighting wow this is a remnant of a bridge which was made in the 1860s so people used to go over here all the way to the north side wow look at the north side look at the purple color they've used on the bridge brilliant and the red color on the treasury building oh we've got a path here as well underneath the bridge been used by people running that's the Brisbane sign let's go to the Brisbane sign I see people so active over here in Brisbane that's incredible quite a lot of running etc and occasionally I see people who are like so heavy that they are on, on a vehicle they're not like paralyzed or anything or anything wrong with their feet it's crazy the mixture that you have I'm assuming it's because Australia is so big that uh, most people are so used to driving around that they are like gone very lazy maybe and I'm actually curious now as I go to mainland Australia which is so big everything is so far people are they like a bit heavy that would be very ironic wouldn't it like I would say back in the day people in the out outback or etc must have been very fit because they're walking all the time but now that 
everybody is using vehicles people have gone so lazy that they are so big that they're going around on this mopeds okay we have the art building over here wow i'm in love with nighttime brisbane so relaxing parks everywhere beautiful lighting you know what's the best part there are no mosquitoes or any insects it's crazy how how they make sure that that's the case okay we are at the brisbane sign i'm actually curious what is that sign made of let's go see is it wood can't be wood would it because they'll have to keep fixing it all the time oh look the wheel of brisbane is very close right there okay let's go check out the sign first okay that's the other thing everything is amazing in brisbane but you got to be careful because everybody is sharing the paths that lead to everywhere so walking paths are shared by pedestrians and cyclists and scooters oh my god the number of scooters you're seeing lately is crazy it's becoming the next big thing oh there it is the brisbane sign wow with the skyline at the back it looks amazing let's go see tap on the b to see what sound it makes oh it's metal interesting and it's uh it's not very thick but uh yeah i would say you can make a dent on it <laughs> cool that's a great shot with the wheel of brisbane in the background flowers wow look at that traffic uh, bridges over there makes me wonder like back in the day before the white man came to Australia everything must have been so dark I wonder how the Aborigine people used to live here I mean the Brisbane River is like a s-shaped kind of river and uh, in the museum I actually saw what they used to do they used to have like these places where they used to have like fights they used to have like a place where they used to gather and things like that and it was all of course uh, like fire they didn't have electricity you know so now it's so much changed so is it a good thing or a bad thing that the white man has come to Australia I don't know but again they have this gratitude nature in Australia about the Aborigine people they keep calling them the uh, caretakers of the land wow look at this walk beautiful view and this walk is lovely just imagine coming here after a day's work and you're just walking along taking in the beautiful lights of Brisbane watching the world go by yeah those are the scooters I'm talking about very popular lately everybody's on scooter in the city and uh, I think they don't go that fast I think that's the max speed it can go anyway that's the next big thing guys so that's that's brisbane in the night guys i just wanted to give you a quick walk thank you see you in the next video bye